Hello everyone, welcome back to another Path of Titan commentary video, where I explain my process during these situations. A little backstory before the action. One of our teammates got jumped by an Apex mixed pack group in LBM, so my other teammates and I came to check it out. Now, as my teammate and I enter the gates to the Apex mixed pack territory, we noticed they were hanging out by the shoreline. One of the ducks spotted my friend and approached aggressively. Unsure how many there were, we had to pull them out to the big lake because fighting them in the LBN pond won't benefit us as Sarko players. This duck seemed determined to get us, so my teammate and I dragged the duck out to the big lake and we started rotating our tags towards the duck. Now that the duck got low, his other teammates came in to back him up, and finally, the fight starts to get fun. Sucho and Spino approaches, and I begin to bait them with my attack, trying to bring them to the big lake. Our goal was to fight them in the big lake because it will allow us to finish them when they are low. Having the land by their side will help them get on land when they are low, not allowing us to finish them off. They were playing to their advantage, and so were we. They all started to back off, so I went to go check out what they were doing. Seeing that they had land dinos for support and water dinos for us, my teammate and I, we had to play passive, otherwise we'll be in big trouble. They all started to line up and started roaring. I assumed they were trying to take a picture or a video. While they were doing that, I continued to check my surrounding to make sure that there was no other dinos around. Unfortunately, they didn't invite us for a photo shoot, so I had to crash their party. Taking advantage of them roaring non-stop, I activated my charge bite as well to blend in with theirs. Eliminating one of their main casts for their photo shoot really got them going, and the fun starts again. We decided that we will fight here in this passage because they won't follow us to the big lake. We will have to fight where it benefits them. Focusing on the Sucho during the battle will allow us to decrease the numbers they have on us in the water because two full charge bite without ambush already hurts the Sucho a lot. We know that since they won't follow us to the big lake, it will help us regain our stamina and health as needed, because as a Sargo without stamina is a dead Sargo due to its low health. Now, one of our teammates logged in and wanted to have some actions too. She came in on her duck and became our land support since Sarko on land is a dead Sarko against this apex group. She successfully eliminated the other Spino that was low. Her job was to damage them as much as possible while trying to bait them into the water for us to land our ambush. She was successful in bringing the Spino into the water allowing me to connect my ambush on the Spino. Due to the large number and outnumbering us, we had to play strategic. As she continued to put pressure on them, I will go assist with a charge bite as needed and try not to hit her as well.
After a couple rounds with the Spino, she got the Sucho to commit and follow her into the water, allowing me to connect my charge bite to the Sucho, pushing it back to the land. Now they stop engaging us and were waiting for their backup to come. While we were waiting for their backup to arrive as well, we took the time to get Stanima and heal up. Another Spino came out of home cave from their group to come after us. This Spino was different. It was determined, it had the power of friendship on its side. It engaged us and its friends followed. But the power of friendship was limited and they had to retreat back on land. Now, another one of our teammates spawn in as a Meg as land support to keep them from resting and getting stamped. Now there is four of us, two on land and two in the water. The Meg's role was to attack them while they were resting or low and baiting them into the water allowing us to land our ambush on them. Although there are four of us in total, we still had to play strategic or we will be in big trouble. Another one of our team members logged in and joined in on the action. He came in as a Kentro to bleed them out and prevent them from healing. Now the Meg is no longer alone against them on land. While the Meg and the Kentro keeps them busy, my role is to support the land team members by ambushing anything in the water that is now with us. We all had to work together as a team or we might not make it out of here alive. With 7 minutes left until several restarts, we have 7 minutes to finish this battle. Whether we lose or win, all we got is 7 minutes. My other Sarko teammate spotted a Spino in the big lake approaching us. Since I was no longer needed here because our land support had the land under control, the duck and I went to go support the other Sarko teammate. Approaching their epic 1v1 battle and seeing that the Spino was glitching all over the place, a second Spino and Sucho appeared. It became a 3v3. To end the fight fast, within the time we have left, my Sarko teammate and I focus on one Spino at a time, rotating between each Spino. Our duck teammate was 1v1ing the Sucho but was struggling because she was still a new player and learning PvP. I had my Sarko teammate go assist her while I solo these two Spinos. Taking on two Spino is not easy as a Sarko because Spino's regular bites hurts. Spino spins faster than a Sarko and their stamina is better than a Sarko. I needed to utilize my O2 as much as possible or I will lose this fight. Swimming back and forth and trading blows with both of them, I focused on only using my O2 bite.
using my charge spike to threaten them allow me to get some space between them to regain whatever little stamina I can regain. I was successful in drowning the first spino. I knew it was burning out its stamina and I had no choice but to lunge away. Now this is it. I can't lunge anymore. I'm one hit away from death. Dodge the first one. Dodge the second one. This is it.